This video will show how to swap out a pumping motor on the JM1000. This is the key part. They never get these right. Okay, now what kind of drill bit are you? Phillips. Phillips, okay. First remove the foot below. This is what guys always forget they don't know what to do. Disconnect them from the switch. Take the top plate out. Top mounting bracket. Those you really have to hold on to because they strip out easy. Pump's ready to come out. I say that. Okay. This is garbage. I always check to make sure there's nothing laying in there, any, any loose components. So it's ready for the new pump now. Okay, now let's get the new pump. So this is the new pump. Everything's on it, ready to go back in. It's already pre-assembled with the various mounting parts. And then it's just a reverse order now. Okay, and we're gonna do that to show you how relatively easy it is. Now we're using Loctite. Blue Loctite to make sure that nothing vibrates. They're the two smaller screws. They're a 1032 by 38 screw. The other four are 1024 by 58 screws. Okay. mounting bracket. It's all important to make sure these align. Don't 
force anything. Reverse the drill, use the clutch. I have it on number 12. Tighten everything up. You only, put, you only put the Loctite on the outer one? No, on all of them. On all of them. Yeah, everything gets Loctited. For the vibration, it's a very good move. Okay, we're using ready for blue, the... We're using the blue Loctite, which is removable, but yet uh, important. All right, okay, top plate back in. Hook up the, the bottom wire to the switch. You have, you have two wires on the motor, bottom and top. Bottom wire goes to the switch. You can't interchange them because of the connections. So the top wire to the electric. That's what we change on it to make sure they're in it. You can't mix them up. Right. You can't hook the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. Pull your lead wire, keep it to the left so it don't get tied up on anything. Put your top plate back in, slide it over, put it into place. You always have to just adjust these two screws for the back motor mount. Just to line them up. But before I do anything now, turn the switch on and I plug it in to make sure that the motor works and no sparks. Power. If it's sparking, I could. You're looking down in here where you see the bad motor. It's sparking, so no spark, and only run it for a second. You don't want to run the pump dry. Now I'll go ahead and assemble it. Same thing, these are 1032 flatheads, it's only two. You got the right shirt on today for this, huh? Oh yeah. Advertising nice. <laughs> got the hat, got the American <laughs> flag, the, the union, Holy steelworkers cow. union. Didn't even know. Same thing now, these are the 1024 so the screws can't interchange. You can't interchange these with these or with these. Easy peasy. Putting a lot of pressure on that so it tightens everything up. That's Good. ready to go. Ready to go. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put your washer back in the intake, water intake, and then you screw your. Can you show them that again with the washer? We didn't oh, okay. Like this. Okay. It's just a water, a filter, rubber filter. Okay. And then you put your cap on top. Make sure you don't cross the threads. It's good to go. Because that's plastic, so you make sure you, if you don't want to cross the thread, you'll strip it. And you don't want to over tighten it either. No. All it needs to be is a snug. You don't have to. That's all it needs. Right. Okay? Don't forget your bottom bolts. Your your two rubber feet, They're, they hold this plate right here from moving. So are you going to put them in now? Yes. This is what everybody forgets to do or don't know how to, that they gotta come out. Right, this is important. 
Okay, so you're just lining up that hole. Bingo. That plate is adjustable. You can move it back and forth with your hand. Just snug it, same thing. You don't want to over tighten it. And you can feel that it's matching up with the hole inside. Yeah, yes. So if it doesn't line up, you will, you would have to push it. You would feel it. Yes. And you can, you can actually look in there and see the threads that tell you that it's lined up. Right. It's just so repetitious right. that I know where they're at. Make it look easy, right? Okay. Good to so go. Now, you turn it on one more time, huh? No, no it, it's, it's good. good to go. All right. Good. So now I wrap the cord back up so that it looks like it's supposed to. If it's wrapped up good, then all the components go back in it easy. I put a wire tie on it. Snug it, cut it. All right, that goes back in. And all the components that come out of it. The water supply hose. There with the cleaning hose. With the nozzle, we got to make sure, obviously, that the that the uh, nozzle is free of debris. If it is clogged, it will not. It will make the pump not work. I don't. Know. Yeah, the, is there a tool kit, the cleaning kit? Do they? Well, the, yeah, it wasn't in here, oh. but every everyone gets it. Right. Yeah. So then, all the components that were in the box go back in it. That way, the way it came is the way you get it back. All right. That's good there to go. go. Thank you, Alex. Make it look easy. Appreciate it.